Yes, my beautiful people, it's another day, it's another cooking episode. And as you know, we always started off with a little juice. We are about to make, I can't even keep a straight face because this lady already made me laugh. I'm uh, truly trying to pronounce. No, no, chow de wow chi. She's laughing in the background. I'm trying today to make you guys, or to teach you guys how to make, no, no, chow de wow ting. This is beef chow fun. Also known as chow de wow ting. So, excuse my Chinese language, guys. If you guys don't like it, you could also say in my language, sa, and add lop to it. But you could also say it in the Jamaican language, bom, add, bo, and add again, plat, if you don't like the way I pronounce it. So, there you go. So, yeah, guys, let's get into it. I already have my beef ready to go, cut up. I got my onion dice up, I got my green onion, garlic, ginger, you got your sugar, what else we got in there, soya, you got again, you need yourself your panda, I'm going to try this one, this one is new to me today, so I'm going to give this a try, what's it called, oyster flavored sauce okay not bad so yeah again beef chow fun don't go tight around here so there you go so let's get into it guys yep let's get into it first thing you need let's make marinate this for like a 10 minutes we got baking soda in here i got a teaspoon of baking soda. You heard your mom dying laughing? Me trying to speak laughing. Chinese? You're trying to speak Chinese? Yeah. You know Chinese? No. Oh. <laughs> so. Making it up. Right? Yep. So I need to marinate this. Let me just see the way. Yep, all day begging for food. Mm -hmm. This can stay in this part. I'm gonna marinate this right now. Go with the sugar. We got sugar spreading. I got baking soda in here. And cornstarch. Cornstarch. I can't even keep a straight fit because of I can't even. So yes guys, like I said, you're gonna add a teaspoon, a tablespoon, tablespoon of soya in this baby. Yep, and then we're gonna mix this baby up, baby. Yep, welcome to the channel. I go by the name of IP, IQ Life in Canada. What we're doing today is cooking 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 so this is all mixed up a bit so I'm gonna just leave this in here what I added to that again I added one teaspoon of cornstarch two table dark soya sauce half a teaspoon of brown sugar one tablespoon of oil yep guys make sure you have a tablespoon of oil in there as well so 
it calling for um, avocado oil, but I ain't got avocado oil, so I just use vegetable oil. Nobody's gonna know. Nobody's gonna know. Avocado oil is in here. So, so far we have again one tablespoon of cornstarch, two tablespoons of dark soy sauce, half a teaspoon, half a tablespoon of brown sugar, and one tablespoon of avocado oil, which I don't have, so I substituted for vegetable oil. So, we're gonna just let this baby mix up a bit, guys. This has no salt in it, you know, as yet. Hmm. Should I add salt to this? I don't know. So, this just need a little minute to do it thing. And then we go here, guys. Like I say, this is something new today. We're going to try something new. Hey, it's Valentine's Day next week. <laughs> Is it next week or tomorrow? Tomorrow. Oh. Wow. Well, so I guess where I'll be tomorrow. I guess I know where I'll be tomorrow. Where? In some store trying to find some last minute gift that I should have gotten last week. Hmm? So don't rush to come home tomorrow. Give me some time to go to the store. So yes, I got my rice. My rice is here, guys. As you can see, rice stick. We're gonna, I have my pot already boiling in here. So I gotta turn this on. I'm gonna put like half of that in there for now. I think that's enough. But, yeah. I'm gonna just add some more in here. Hope it's enough. I feel this is enough. I feel like this is enough. Uh, it's all dependent on how many people is eating your meal, so that should determine how many, how much you wanna put in your pot. So there you go. Just take a fork, spread this up. Yep. Okay, now in the meantime guys, you should, the best thing to do with your meat, if you can always prep it overnight and you get that juicy flavor from it, but we are hungry, we're gonna do this right now, so I'm gonna heat up this pot, boom. So we're gonna need yourself some oil again in this pot as it's heating up yep and also we're gonna have ourselves a little fun on this side we're gonna be making a banana bread might as well because we got ripe bananas if you got yourself bananas in your fridge or wherever you keep it all you need to do is get yourself a baking pan Get yourself a baking pan for your banana bread and we'll get into this in a minute. So yep. We should this your your rice should be on for six minutes. So six minutes is all this needs, and then you wanna dump it into a dish strainer on get some cold water running on it so make sure you do that when it's done so this is eating up let's dump some oil in this pot Mm. 
so yep my people let's dump a, a tablespoon of oil in that pot yep we just want to get that meat brown and nice so we just want to get this brown and toasty not burning but let's get it nice and brown just as you can see i'm just getting that oil all over the pot everywhere maybe add a little bit more to certain places and then make sure it's all over your pot because you don't want to let's go guys time to get this meat in i suggest you get yourself something to mix this up a bit what can i use i'm gonna use my steak thing now guys all you want to do is just get your meat all up in this yep. that's it guys What is it my people? As you can see I'm just trying to get my meat all evenly in this pot. Yep, your noodles should be done guys, your rice should be done by now because it's been boiling over five minutes so like i say you don't want to over boil this i have this here i need to take this other here put this in something else i'm gonna dash i got my veggies in here for this meal so i'm gonna dump our noodles in here This to be nice and even. Yes, my people. Is chicken upstairs? Yes, guys, as you can see, what's happening here? It's turning all brown and nice. So no worries guys I got you I got you again we are making beef chow pan nong chang wang I don't know how to say it but I tried my Chinese friends I tried believe me all day I've been trying to say this in Chinese and I can't get it so Yep, if you could hear a little noise in the background, it's the fan. I need to just make sure I could get this out of here. This vent can take this outside. But already looking good, my people. Welcome to the channel. It's another cooking episode. And like I say, please like, subscribe, leave a comment. It doesn't cost you, except tomorrow it will cost you a little money. It's Valentine's Day to all the loved ones out there. Do what's right. I'm standing up for the women. You guys go out and get your girlfriend, wife, significant other, a gift. It's okay. And you women, Treat your man right. Treat your boo thing 
with love and respect guys so yes as you can see your pot should be looking like this right now so we'll just let that do its thing and yep we are doing this this is done we need to dump this out guys speedy process over here make sure whatever you do don't get burned because as you can see my hands is already already there guys so we're gonna run some cold water as we pour this out let me try to make sure i get this out for you guys yeah baby yeah baby that's it run some cold water on this guys just like my chinese grandma would do so that is it my people your stuff is there don't forget it yep just let it get that little brownie color again like i said it's happening and like i said it's trial and error when it comes to cooking that was never my thing i am just trying a thing lately i've been trying to do you know trying to get out of the box not doing the regular things anymore so yeah i think life is here to enjoy and try new things right so oh, this is beautiful you can turn it down a bit if you find it's too high and just let us wow already looking good guys i can't even hunt with you guys here okay we're gonna take this out guys i suggest you find a pot or something you could dump it back into that same pot that you had earlier on well for me i'm gonna dump it into my pot i had here you wanna dump this to the side you can use whatever to put it in no need for that we dump this back in here guys and yeah again you're gonna add yourself a table spoon of oil a tablespoon of oil again like i say you want to turn this down on low yep take this over here and then we're gonna add ourselves ginger your diced ginger you want to throw in your garlic i got my garlic chopped up already guys so yeah and you want to get yourself a wooden spoon so you don't scratch up the bottom of your madam pot yeah that's it guys you throw your onions in here your green onions you add your other chopped up onions guys that's it we get in there Oh, the beautiful smell guys the beautiful smell is happening the beautiful smell is a the beautiful smell is happening and then we gotta make ourselves our soy sauce you know Okay, I gotta make my soya sauce guys, excuse me, okay, my soya sauce, I put this to the side, leave my pot off this, turn this down so you guys don't get too annoyed by this noise, but we gotta keep this on low, please, I gotta make my soya sauce guys, so in here I got two tablespoon of of water then I'm gonna add my soya a tablespoon of soya sauce then I'm gonna add myself again 
my oyster sauce. Oyster sauce. Hmm, that's a little bit more. But yeah. Yep. Nice. Then I got myself No, I need two tablespoons of soy sauce guys. Sorry, two tablespoons of soy sauce. I can think right today. Two tablespoon. I'm gonna just use some of this. Two tablespoon of this. I'm gonna empty the rest of this. And we need some oil in here again. Uh, 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 tablespoon of oil. And I need some sugar in this too. Brown sugar. Yes, my people, that is it. This is how the thing goes, you know? And then I'm gonna make this come back in here. I need my noodles back in here. You should spread your noodles, guys. Spread your noodles all up in your pot. Yep. My hands. That is it, my people. Almost there. We are almost on this journey. So I wanna turn up my oven a bit. Look at this beautiful. Uh, this looks good, guys. Almost there. I'm gonna put this away in the meantime. Yep. Let this do whatever it wants. I'm gonna also add this in here. Add this in here, guys. some sugar in this make this sweet a bit uh, I'm gonna use the honey in this I'm gonna do something different with this I'm gonna add some honey in this mix with some chili yeah yep guys I'm gonna make this different a little twist to this yeah baby that is it guys that is it put this back in the refrigerator where's my spoon? all up on this I think I needed a bigger pot for that though a huge huge pot and I'm gonna just dump all this all over this yeah Maybe to cook up this way. Oh boy. That's it guys. 
almost time. And then I just let this baby stay up and do whatever it wants. some of this all over yeah baby I'm gonna just cover up this for a little few seconds and let this Enjoy itself over there. Get the foot cover for this. Yep. That is it, my people. I'm gonna just cover up this a little bit, let this steam up a bit. Then over here, let's go ahead with our banana bread. Boom. Banana bread is easy. We can preheat our oven 350. Put on bake, 350, turn up, make sure there's nothing in your oven. If there is, make sure you remove it. And let's do our banana bread, guys. First, you need to peel yourself three ripe bananas. One. You need three ripe bananas. Out from here, put this in here. Three red bananas, like I said. bananas in here we need a fork or well, my fork is here and you just want to mash this up a little you know you just want to mash this up Up guys, like I said, for the bananas. If you have two, two is okay. No biggie. Turn your oven on 350. Preheat your oven on 350, like I said. So you just want to mush this up a bit. I like to mush mine quite some. So. And the riper the bananas, the better for the um, banana bread. So, if you could just leave it during the week till it gets super ripe, then you can use it, it's even better. Okay, banana bread is done. So what you wanna get yourself is two cups of all-purpose flour. You dump this in there. That's two cups of all-purpose flour. Then you want to dump yourself one cup of brown sugar or whatever sugar you have. It's fine. No worries. Then I got myself a teaspoon of baking soda. I got myself a tablespoon of baking powder and a teaspoon of salt I dump this all in here over here make sure you get all that in here and at least 
yep I got myself half a cup of oil I dump this in there you can use butter as well you could use mel melted butter you could put it in the fridge in the microwave and melt it up but half a cup would do and you need yourself you need yourself two eggs two eggs you just put them in something mix them up a bit yep you just need two eggs dump this in here banana bread is super easy and quick so then what we want to do is mix this up make sure we get all of this mixed up into one no worries you might think it's Oh, it's not soft enough. Just mix it. I guarantee you it's going to get all soft. And we have to get ourselves a tablespoon of vanilla extract. So let's get ourselves a quick, you know what? A tablespoon of vanilla extract so a teaspoon no a teaspoon it's a teaspoon sorry my guys one teaspoon of vanilla extract and that is it continue mixing this guys I guarantee you you'll remember this after mixing all these ingredients I just told you guys there you can put this in your oven for 65 minutes so anywhere around 60 minutes please do not open your oven during that time just let it do whatever so I suggest if it's 50 minutes you could just turn on the light of your oven and just take a quick look in there and see what's happening but 65 minutes you should be all ready to eat your your beautiful cake so i just mix this up some more make sure i get all the sides yeah if you don't believe me guys you could taste it just take a little taste of it you should be smelling it also, you know. Because I am. So I just make sure everything gets mixed up together here. And that is it, my guys. That is it. That's the banana bread. There's nothing to it. If you want, go ahead and lick your fingers. Because that thing don't taste good. I need my spray for my pan. Just like this, guys. The banana bread is ready to. So all I do in that meantime, I got my pot, I got my oil spray for my pan. I just spray this up. Ching, ching, ching. Ching, ching. And that's it. I just oil my pan. If you do not have that spray, no issues in here, my friends. So you can just oil the pan with some oil, get some cooking oil, and just kind of lightly oil it with your fingers. So this is done, guys. All you do, dump it in. Yes, guys, after 65 minutes. We gotta check your baby on. Yep, this is it. We gotta get this cake out of the oven. 65 minutes in there. 50 to 65. Uh, 50 to 65 minutes. Your cake should look like this. Voila. Yes, my people. We need to close the oven. Make sure you shut this off. Make sure it's off. And like I said, this is your golden corral. That is it, my people. Let me get this up right here. Okay, I'm gonna lay this 
so you guys could see what it's like. Oh, I don't even have this up on this. Yep. That is it guys. As you can see, it's all done. Voila. The sides. So just let this banana break cool off. And manja guys. Enjoy.